Yo, what up, folks? Wild Bill here, man. I'm getting ready to uh, cook up some of this redfish I got the other day. Figured y'all like to follow along and see the recipe that I enjoy. Fish on! I already got the fish fillet and vacuum sealed over it up here in a minute. Sure, that's the uh, star of the dish, but that's not what we're going to start with. Any good recipe starts with some bacon. Nice thick cut. I'm going to start here on the blackstone here. All right, I'm cooking on the blackstone, especially bacon. I like to start it on uh, low heat. So start all four burners up. Now this is cold. I want this to be cold when I start my bacon. It's going to make for a much better cook. So while that's warming up, I'm going to go ahead and lay this on there and let it get going. Now this bacon's going to do uh, two things. One, want to provide some awesome grease to cook the rest of the dish in and two it's going to be part of the dish I'm going to use it to complement the asparagus that I'm going to fry up on here in a minute there we go most of this bacon is going to fold up on there that's all right it don't matter I'm probably going to crunch it up later anyway So yeah, we'll let that go for a little bit. Let that warm up, start sizzling, and uh, once it starts cooking, I'll get back with you. All right, while well, I wait for this bacon to get up to temp, here it's starting to sizzle a little bit now. It's getting good. Let's go over our ingredients. So, bacon, of course. Here's our redfish fillet. A little bit of olive oil. Here's the season we're going to use on the fish. This is uh, one of my favorite blends I've found. I wish I could smell that. That's gorgeous. Keep it real simple. Garlic salt, salt, pepper, some asparagus. Oh, rookie move. First cooking show. I've left my uh, mini potatoes inside, but I'll go grab them in a minute. They don't come until later anyway. I guess the quickest part of this dish is going to be this bacon. So as it's going, we'll just uh, probably start working on seasoning up this fish here. All right, guys, I got my fish pulled out of the package there. Uh, what you want to do is dry it off both sides of the paper towel. That way uh, season sticks to it real good to get a real good sear. You can dump it in this grease from this bacon right here. beautiful redfish fillet. It's the seasoning we're using today. It's more of a blackened redfish, kind of got a Cajun season to it, a little bit spicy for the kids. It's just going to be me and Tasha eating it. So since that's the case, let's go ahead and do this up right, huh? One for me, one for her. how we're going to do this. We're going to be pretty liberal with this season. And I've already dried it off. Should stick to it really good. So I'm going to rub that in there real good all over on my sides. I love this stuff, man. Yeah, I wish I could smell this. What's that guy's name? Chef Paul Proudhon. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Man, that's some good stuff. Be pretty liberal on this. 
So it's gonna make that black and Cajun crust on the outside here. Once we get it going on our bacon grease over here. All right. You can see, pretty liberal with it. All right, we're gonna make our bacon. Might need a little toss here. Oh yeah, that's brown and good, huh? Just building that light nice grease on there too, slowly turn and burn out. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Turn it around a little bit. Alright. Top of it, right? All right, bacon's starting to look pretty good. So, take some of these bad boys off, let them sit over here and cool, get real crispy, so they crunch good. Save this grease. It's gonna be our base for cooking everything else on here. I might scrape it up a little bit just to get uh, all the stuff unstuck from the grill. Get all the chunks out of here, but flavor is asparagus. And ultimately, this redfish afterwards. All right, I just gave this a little scrape. Get those bacon chunks. Pulled up off of the grill there. I didn't get rid of them. I'm leaving them on there. We'll get some of that flavor for them. All right, next to my asparagus. I already washed them. Trimmed the ends off. All right, not crazy. A little pepper. That's the salt. Garlic salt. It's gonna be quick now, right? Quick salt on these bad boys in this bacon grease. It's gonna be cooked. We don't want them to be mush. We don't want that crispness. Okay, you see how they're getting coated in that bacon grease now, man? Like I said, keep it simple. What that bacon do to pepper? Salt, pepper? I, mean, I don't know about y'all. I love asparagus out of here, so. It needs a whole lot of, lot of flavor to it. Just to heat a little bit. Oh man, that looks good. All right, it's coming up pretty good. So. Oh. Side of the grill turned off. I don't want to get rid of them. I don't want to get rid of the they're still, they're still cooking a little bit. They're not crisp. Let's keep them warm. Put them over away from the heat, indirect heat. Alright, while well that's going, I found my potatoes. They're just boiled small potatoes. Put them in this little bowl here, roll them around with some uh, little garlic herb butter and uh a little saute on these too. We can go right on with them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
crazy, right? my asparagus off now. Put them in this little bowl here, let them rest. They're just still, still gonna have a little snack to them. You know? A mushy asparagus. Look at that. Tell me I what it's all about. Alright, got a potato still going over here on this side. Alright, that's going. Throw some more heat on this thing. That's where the fish coming in. All right, man, here's where it all happens. A little downhill side on this thing. So I save some of that bacon grease. So he turned up just a little bit here in the middle, all right? We got my potatoes going over here. That looks good. Look how thin that is. It's already smashed, just touching it. Right, here we go. Red fish fillets. Drop them right in that bacon grease. Ready? I'll start with this fatter one. It's gonna take a little longer to cook. Ready? You drop them away from you. With that grease splattering back on you if you drop it on accident. All right, this fish is going pretty good. They're sizzling black in down there for about, I'll say four minutes. So better keep going and flip it, see where it's at. In the meantime, we'll start getting our plate ready. All right, here we go. Now, you know, we want the fish to be the star of the dish, but I think we'll stop you from making a beautiful dish anyway, right? Put a little couple sprays strands of this uh, asparagus over here. See how that looks? I love asparagus, so I might go a little heavy with it. Alright, nothing crazy. A couple pieces of this bacon that we made, right? Real simple. Put it together. A couple small chunks, you know? Like some little bacon bits, right? Some of this bacon here, not crazy. Just a little sprinkle. Bacon goes good with the, you know, everything. Come over here and get a little scoop of our potatoes. Nice color on there. Get that little mashed one too. Nobody's perfect, right? Now, right, fish looks pretty done on this one side. Let's go ahead and do a little flip. Oh, yeah, look at that. Boom. Um, the 
down a little bit. We'll need for a couple more minutes. Uh, uh, Alright, look at our redfish. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, look at that. Come here, that don't look good. Let's put it off over here to rest. Fish over here resting. Bring this on there. Oh boy, look at that. Oh boy, look at that. All right, man. Clean your plates up a little bit. Oh man, that is that. y'all think but it's pretty amazing to me you never had redfish boy you're missing out all right man it's a finished product black and red fish twice cooked potatoes with garlic butter some asparagus sprinkled with some bacon sorry for that plane going over Yeah, let's try this out. Go for this old, uh. Mmm. Mmm. Those things are so tender. They're soft on the outside. Yep, they got a little crunchy sear on the outside. Perfectly seasoned. Boom. All right, let's try some of this asparagus. Look pretty tender, but listen, still got a little crunch to it. I don't know how you can mess that up. Get a little bacon. Mmm. Get another one of those too. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's it. Alright for the star. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. I want to see how white flaky this redfish is. Look at that man, juicy. Mmm, perfectly cooked man. Get a little bite here. Maybe. Mmm, game over. Game over. All right, man, well, I just got done eating that delicious red fish. I'll tell you what, that, that's, that's my go-to recipe. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope y'all try it one day. Y'all got any questions about it, you know, let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, looks like I got a little bacon left over to snack on for later. So that's a good sign. So yeah, I'm gonna clean up. Got a huge mess. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Wild Bill out.